I'm just about to make a test video about the brand new Ender 3 V3 entry level printer from Creality when I noticed something on my newly built PC. The i9-14900K CPU and 4070 Ti graphics card are super fast and therefore need to be well cooled. However my sister donated her old case to me to save me some bucks, but it's from 2018 and still has HDD slots. And these are no longer equipped cause I'm using M2 SDDs, which means that the lower case fan blows into the empty HDD slot for most of the part and that means I'm losing valuable cooling capacity for the GPU. And now I already have a 3D printer here for testing, so let's just air amp the PC to improve the cooling of the GPU. I'm replacing the original slot cover with a 3D built air ramp and will print it with the new Ender 3 and that should guide all the air from the lower case fan direct underneath the 4070 Ti and should improve the cooling. So let's open the case and let's remove the original cover to take some measurements. I'm using Autodesk Fusion to 3D design the new air ramp to the dimensions of the original cover. That takes a while and is too much to explain Fusion in this video. But Fusion is free for private use and a very powerful cut software I can recommend. That's no advertisement by any means, but if you like you can find the link to Fusion underneath the video in the video description. But what is advertised is the printer. As you might know, I'm an official Creality product tester, so here we go. Hi, it's Martin from E2E and I'd like to say congratulations to Creality on your 10th anniversary. And regarding 10 years of 3D printing expertise, Creality has released a new version of their legendary Ender 3 printer. Now it's the Ender 3 V3 and it has become even better. It comes with all the good stuff like the Core XC kinematics in a die-cast aluminum chassis with an extraordinary speed of 600 mm per second. It comes also with input shaper and auto bed leveling. The Ender 3 got exceptionally better, but the only thing I would like to see improved is the size. Woo! Yeah, thanks for watching the advertisement and supporting me by watching my videos. Let's talk about the Ender 3. It's an entry-level bed slinger, current price around about $350. Build volume 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter. It comes with a direct extruder which can print up to 300 degrees Celsius and has two fans for maximum cooling so you can print nearly every filament you like. But what's special about the printer is it claims that it can print super steep angles and maybe you have seen that my air amp has a super steep angle and that's what I like to try. Let's do the first print. The print starts with the brim and some support structures to allow better bed adhesion and to support the left side of the air ramp which would be otherwise printed in free air. I use the default settings of generic PETG from Creality Print without changing anything in the settings which will turn out to be a mistake later. As you can see the ender can print also steep angles over 50 degree. Only when the angle becomes steep with almost 80 degree inclination the printer loses the adhesion in the individual print layers. Let's make it short, it took me 3 attempts to print a usable air ramp. On the first attempt the print temperature was too low which resulted in poor layer adhesion and the model was easy to break. Also the printer lost layers in the middle of the ramp because the angle was more than 85 degree. The print also warped on two sides. In the second attempt the support of the left corner was too small which caused tension in the model and the excess of tension led to a crack in the upper half of the model. In the third attempt I added additional bracing at the edges and an additional wall on the right side of the ramp which led to a successful print. I fitted a threaded insert with a soldering iron to have a mounting point for the PC and then sanded the ramp with 300 grit sandpaper before painting it with plastic primer and a black spray can. I highly recommend using plastic primer with PETG as PETG is generally difficult to paint but has a high strength and flexibility which is ideal for functional parts. Now it's time to mount the air ramp in the PC case and to do a visual test to see if the air ramp works. As you can see the fan sucks the smoke and distributes it perfectly over the ramp below the GPU. How much additional cooling capacity this provides is difficult to say. Essentially it's about optimizing the airflow in general and directing it to the components to be cooled in the best way possible. The question is however would I buy and recommend the Ender 3 V3. In addition to the air ramp I have also printed other things such as clamps for my photo background which are typical beginner projects.
Generally speaking, the Creality Print Slicer software supplied with the printer is super easy to use. You can also make sophisticated settings such as adding and removing individual support structures. I only adjusted the temperature by 10 degrees in the standard settings to get good print results. The printer itself offers accurate and fast prints with the full metal frame and with the 300 degree hot and numerous filaments can be processed. The only thing I personally don't like is the noise of the fans which reminds me of a wild swarm of bees and can quickly become annoying. And the fact that there are currently no profiles available for open source slicers such as Cura. Also the Ender 3v3 does not run out of the box the clipper firmware which can quickly put off more professional users. My conclusion is that the printer is very uncomplicated and delivers good results for beginners. But professionals could quickly miss important features due to the lack of integration such as clipper. All in all is the Ender 3 a nice little desktop printer with enough capacity to do mid thighs things like my air ramp and if you want to start 3D printing without any knowledge that can be a machine for you. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.